friends, it's teacher Elena. And today I'm super excited to share a story called Clara and Buster Go Moon Dancing by Diane Sheldon and illustrated by Caroline Anstey. Clara and Buster lived quietly in a small house with a garden filled with flowers. Now and then, Buster may dig a hole or bark at a squirrel. Now and then, Clara might chase a bird or climb a wall. But most of the time, Buster curled up in the shade of a tree and Clara stretched out in the sun, feeling calm and maybe some days feeling a little bored. One evening, Clara and Buster were watching TV. Twelve couples in glittering costumes were spinning around a floor so polished it looked like glass. You know, said Clara, I'd like to do that. It looks like fun. Buster watched the couple spin across the television screen. Clara sighed. If only we knew how to dance. Buster heard the sadness in her voice. Well, then we will have to learn, said Buster. Oh. Clara and Buster began to teach themselves to dance that night. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, counted Clara as she and Buster backed into the coffee table. Keep going. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, counted Buster as he steered Clara into a wall. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Buster stepped on Clara's foot. She lost her balance and, oh, fell into the bookcase. They finally stop when they broke a vase. Buster went back to sleep, but Clara just stared into space. She could picture herself in a beautiful ball gown, twirling beneath a pale white spotlight. The sequins on her gown glitter like stars, and she can hear the cheers. Whoa, Clara! And the loud applause. She could just hear it now. Clara gave Buster a little nudge. We have to try again, said Clara. The next time, Buster and Clara practiced dancing in the kitchen. Clara wanted to try a tango. She wrapped a dish towel around her like a shawl and threw back her head like she saw the dancers do. Buster began to hum a song he heard on the radio. He couldn't Remember the words. Ba da 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 da, sang Buster. Clara threw her head back again. Twirl me, she cried. Twirl me. Buster pulled her close and twirled her. <gasps> but Clara twirled and twirled and twirled and twirled and twirled right into the trash can. <gasps> Poor Clara. They brushed themselves off and they practiced the cha-cha in the bedroom. Whoops, they tripped over the phone. They practiced jazz dancing in the bathroom. Whoops. They fell into the tub. Oh no, they practiced the jitterbug in the living room, but crash, they broke a window. 
their owners were so upset and they thought this is so dangerous we can't have all this glass around these animals so they made them go outside clara pressed her face to the window she could just see the flicker of the television screen in the front room oh they're waltzing tonight on tv clara sighed oh how i long to waltz buster hated to see clara so unhappy well let's waltz then said buster we can't waltz out here said clara why not buster could hear the radio playing through an open window we have music clara kept her eyes on the flickering screen inside the house imagining the sparkling ball gowns but i want to look beautiful when i waltz whined clara buster picked her a rose there's nothing more beautiful than flowers said buster clara looked at the rose and then at buster but you need bright lights when you waltz she said softly buster turned away from the window what do you call that he asked and clara turned to the garden was bright with moonshine and the sky above sparkled with stars. Buster took Clara's paw and led her to the center of the garden. May I have this dance? He asked with a bow. Clara tucked the rose in her collar and stepped into Buster's arms. One, two, three, one, two, three, whispered the trees as they rustled in the breeze around and around the garden, waltzed Clara and Buster. There was nothing to bump into or to trip over or break. There was only music and flowers and the soft light of the star and the moon. This is perfect, said Clara, as Buster twirled her in his arms. And all the creatures that were watching thought so too. They thought it was absolutely perfect. What friends do you see came to watch them waltz? You can pause the tape while you see which friends. The end. Oh, I love that story. It's so sweet. And Buster never gave up on Clara's dream of dancing under the light with the beautiful shining stars. What a good friend. All right, my sweet friends, I'm sending you a big hug and a little waltz. <laughs> Goodbye, my darling.